From the WKBN 27 First News Network, home of the High School Basketball Starting Five Award, and the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. Dawson off the glass and in. He's on fire here in the first half. He throws it down. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week, sponsored by Stadium GM on my YTV. Coming to you live from Poland Seminary High School, it is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week tonight. The Battle of 224 takes center stage as the Canfield Cardinals face off with the Poland Bulldogs. Hi again, everybody. Chad Prospinski alongside Will Klusenik. Poland checks into this one 18-1, ranked number six in the latest AP poll. Canfield, meanwhile, is 12-7. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. It all starts with going and getting the rock. Again, rebounds and loose balls, Chad. It's the team that's going to get after those 50-50 balls. They talk about the execution and efficiency. There's going to be a lot of shots. You can't just settle. And then there's a lot of emotion in this building, Chad. A lot of emotion with this rivalry. Who's going to keep it in check? Our keys to the game are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. Again, there's been so much discussion over the last several months about the future of this rivalry. Of course, Poland is moving on. This is Poland's last season of the All-American Conference. Next season, they will be a member of the NE8 Conference. So again, we don't know the next time that these two teams will meet. Our starting lineups look this way. For Poland in the backcourt, it is Diaz, O'Shaughnessy, and Berenger. Kramer and Orr rounding things out for Canfield. They will send out four guards. Shapiro, Kalina, Tinky, and McGraw. And Aiden Hanasek in the post. He can also shoot it from a country mile away. We're very familiar with this Poland group, of course. We've seen them a number of times through the years. Brayden O'Shaughnessy in the middle of it all, and he can score in bunches. He definitely can, and they're definitely going to have to keep on an eye on him tonight. But... Who's going to come out in these first couple minutes? Control the tempo and control their emotions. Here we go. Opening tip is won by Poland. Ball in the hands of Berenger out front. Diaz. Diaz lobs it underneath. Up a little bit short for Kramer. Off the miss. Canfield comes down with it. Over the time stripe into the forecourt. Kalina out front to Shapiro. Into the hands of Ian McGraw. Now early on here. You know, talk to Coach Buck, just make the easy decisions early, the easy passes, get your feet underneath you, and take some good quality shots early. Tinky triggers and hits. And that's exactly it. Get Zach Tinky off to a quick start, good on balance shot in range for his first bucket of the night. Cardinals with a 2-0 lead. Brandon Berenger back around to the top of the key. Bounce pass outside. This is Diaz. Onto the wing, this is Billy Orr. Out front to Diaz. And whip it to the elbow for O'Shaughnessy. Out of bounds off Canfield. And you can see they're paying extra attention to O'Shaughnessy, whether it's Tinky, whether it's McGraw, looking to face guard him and not let him get those easy looks. Poland has won four of the last five head-to-head -head meetings, including back three days before Christmas. They bounce it to O'Shaughnessy, he spins and puts it in! And that's a great job, shows you, gets it to, way too deep in there, but Poland, high percentage shot, knocks it in. Shaughnessy showing he can do it from the inside. Shapiro gives near side, corner triple try! Up and good for Tinky! Tinky's one of those streaky shooters. When he gets off to a good start and gets open, he can make you pay. Canfield the 5-2 advantage. Lob underneath. O'Shaughnessy, great possession, and he stuck it in. And there's Berenger doing the little things again. Find Berenger for another high percentage shot. Great possession so far by both teams. Cardinal basketball onto the right side. Great footwork underneath. And it's in McCraw sticking it in to increase the Cardinal lead. I love the possessions by both guys. You're going to get the call, Kalina. Able to get the block on number, who is that, 14. Or 24. It's going to be number 24. That's going to be on Billy Orr, and that's going to be his first. 
So first foul of the night. 7-4 is our score. Ball across the time stripe into the fourth court. Tyler Dobrik slicing to the rack. And what you like about that play, they run a little rub on the high post, looking like they're going to set the on-the-ball screen, but they slip it and get the good look. Excellent job by the Cardinals going to the free throw line. Foul is called on Brandon Berenger. First personal second team foul as Dobrik puts it in. He transitions from a very successful football season playing significant minutes for the Cardinals in the fall and he's a 60 percent free throw shooter as the free throw is up and good 9-4 Canfield up by five across the time stripe into the forecourt this is Diaz Diaz swings it over outside the three-point line Behringer Behringer Gives to O'Shaughnessy, feeding it to Diaz, slicing his way. He puts it up and in, but there's an offensive foul called. And that's what you need if you're the Cardinals. You got to be aggressive. You got to be tough. Shapiro stands in there for the charge, takes away the bucket, and that'll be number one on Behringer. That's Diaz, huh? One on Diaz. Third team foul called against the Bulldogs. Five-point Canfield lead. Cardinals will have it. Great feed. Dobrik shot blocked underneath by Kramer. O'Shaughnessy works it over to Diaz. Closing it on five minutes left. Diaz feeds it into the corner. Baseline jumper up no good. Rebound tapped to O'Shaughnessy in no man's land. But he works it out front to Diaz. Diaz is defended by Kalina. Into the corner, great take. Up off the rim. No good from Billy Orr. Here come those Cardinals. Into the hands of Shapiro. Top side, Kalina for three. Off the rim, no good. But it stays a five-point Canfield advantage. Cross the time stripe into the forecourt. This is O'Shaughnessy. Looking down low for Orr, not a Kramer. He's got great quickness for a big guy, but couldn't finish. A little bit too strong. And Canfield comes down with it. And now we'll slow the pace up as Shapiro trots it across the time stripe. Onto the wing, it's Tinky. Under the corner, this is Kalina. Strong take, can't get it to go. Berenger with the rebound for Poland. Berenger. Whips it over to O'Shaughnessy for three. He knocked it down. And that's the guy you cannot lose in transition. O'Shaughnessy wide open three. And that's what they're looking for, to get him off to a quick start. O'Shaughnessy with all seven Poland points. Onto the wing, it's McGraw. McGraw, left side, Dobrint. Into the hands of Kalina. Back to Dobrint. This is McGraw firing for three, no good. Or tracks it down for Poland. Coach McElroy cannot be happy with those last three shots by the Cardinals. Again, those are settling shots. It's exactly what he said he did not want his team to do is settle. Plays right into the hands of Poland. Underneath for O'Shaughnessy, and we have a whistle. And a Canfield foul underneath. And with 3.03 left to play, here in quarter number one, we will take time out. Canfield 9, Poland 7. We'll bring you back after this. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball. Keep it a week. Shop 24-7 at StadiumGM.com where you can view the entire inventory. It's the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Right now, you can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive GMC Sierra for only $189 a month with zero down. A new Buick Encore is only $199 a month with zero down. A new GMC Terrain is only $229 a month with zero down. And a new GMC Acadia is only $239 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem.
224 taking center stage here on this Friday night. Chad Brzezinski, Wilk Lucinic back with you. Can't fail with a two-point lead. And I just did receive a note from our good friend Bob Hannon over at the United Way. We talk about the future of this rivalry as far as basketball goes. In boys basketball, these two will face off coming up this December as part of the United Way Holiday Basketball Classic on December 8th. O'Shaughnessy has his shot blocked. Barringer cleans it up but can't finish. Cardinals race it up the floor. McGraw up front to Shapiro. Shapiro spinning away from O'Shaughnessy. 243 left in the opening quarter. McGraw outside the three-point line to Kyle Gamble. There's a takeaway by Diaz to Kramer. Up and in. Plus the foul. And that's one of those situations where Kramer's got you beat to the 10. You probably don't want to foul. He was a big part in their win the first time that they met. Watched that game at Canfield. And this is a guy that you don't want to get off to a start here and get those easy buckets. Kramer with the opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play and connects. Kramer puts it in. He had 22 in the first meeting, which was an 11-point pull in victory. That sent Canfield to its first loss of the season back on December 22nd. Shapiro out of the wing to Connor Krogan, and there's a travel called back to Poland. And that's a hard start for the Cardinals. They've kind of tapered off right now, haven't had some good possessions in a row, and that's when you've got to feel the tempo if you're the Cardinals, because we've seen it before. Poland scores in bunches. They get that confidence, and right now they've got that 10-9 lead. Brandon Berenger. Outside to Diaz. He whips it into O'Shaughnessy, who stuck it in. And right now, O'Shaughnessy doing whatever he wants on the interior. That's an outstanding job. If they're going to face guard him, he sets the screen. He becomes the guy that gets an easy shot. 12-9, Poland by three. This is Shapiro. Up to the top of the key, Krogan. McGraw back to Krogan. Now McGraw inside that three-point line. And now the Cardinals will give to Tinky. 93 seconds left. Three ball up and good for McGraw again. Tinky to McGraw on the hand back, straight on. Very confident. Ties this ball game up. O'Shaughnessy. Up at the top of the key, feeding Kramer. Jump stop, puts it up. And in, plus the five. And you can see Poland doing an outstanding job of using the Cardinals' pressure against them. Campbell trying to do it on the other end, but you can see the back door to Kramer with the catch and the finish. First foul on Aiden Hanasek. Each team with three team fouls, and Kramer has really turned it on of late, averaging more than 17 points a game over the last 10. He had 25 in their loss last week to Edgewood, which a lot of people were surprised, but that's a good Edgewood team. That's, you know, and that's good basketball. And when they play physical and aggressive, you know, and that's what Canfield's trying to do tonight, be a lot more physical than they were in that first game. Shapiro for three. No good, and the rebound down to Berenger, and there's a reach-in foul called against Canfield's Tyler Dobrik. Poland's extended that to a three-point lead. And, and we talk about Coach Grisdell all the time. Just, he, he's really that chameleon. He's able to play so many different ways. Offense, defense, changes it up, has their sets. Uh, and the guys know the system and they run it well. First foul on Dobrit, fourth team foul on the Cardinals. Here's Diaz over to O'Shaughnessy. Poland now, very deliberate, very slow. Berenger. Skip pass, Diaz. Diaz takes it baseline, stops right in the lane, feeding it for Kramer. Pinball basketball, Cardinals want to run. Connor Krogan bouncing it to Shapiro. Pass picked off by O'Shaughnessy. O'Shaughnessy to the line, to the lane. What a great look left side. Bulldogs couldn't finish. Off the miss, Poland comes down with it. And with 13 and a half seconds left, we have a Canfield foul underneath. And there's that rebounding advantage, that physicalness 
that both teams were worried about. Getting those second chance points, those rebound putbacks. Guys just standing and staring underneath the hoop there. Poland takes advantage of it. Or gets the, the free throw line, that makes him pay. Unable to knock it in, however. Three point lead for Poland. Now Zach Tinky is back in. Villior puts it up and misses the second one as well. Inside of 10 seconds left, Ben Shapiro around to the left side, takes it baseline, feeds it into the corner. Three ball up and good. Ethan Kalina ends the first with a bang. We're tied at 15 on the WKBN High School Basketball Team of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium Salem, Ohio to find your next week. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not Barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Your fitness journey starts at the train station with locations in Boardman and Niles. Get on board today. From our community to Pyeongchang. Daybreak will keep you up to date on what's happening in South Korea. Highlights of all the events. And a look at life outside the competition. South Korea 2018, sponsored by Boardman Subaru and Trip Chiropractic and Nutrition. Welcome to Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. Saturday, February 17th. Join the Phantoms in thanking our veterans at Military Appreciation Night presented by Cavelli Enterprises. Free poster giveaway to the first 500 fans and a live post-game jersey auction. Visit youngstownphantoms.com for details. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back at Sweeney. And you can choose from over 1,500 vehicles. Listen to this. Check out the totally redesigned GMC Terrain and it's the best lease yet. Lease the 18 GMC Terrain for just $129 a month. Or lease the 18 GMC Sierra for just $138 a month. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC. On Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. WYTV.com, your home for community news. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. When you think of student sections in the area, boy, there's two really good ones on hand tonight. That's the Poland group decked out in camouflage. Every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It's sponsored by Nightlight Embroidery and Screen Printing. It will feature the player of the game every Monday night on WKBN. 27 First News. Chad Kraspinski, Will Klusenik back with you as we get back to it. A very quick foul called against the Bulldogs. It's number two on number two, which is Mike Diaz. And anytime you get early foul trouble in a game like this. Tanky off the mark on the triple try. And so right now, Cardinals able to weather the storm a little bit. Basketball being the game of runs, both teams getting some quality looks. Again, they talked about it's defense and execution what's going to try to win this game. Spinning shot off the glass and good. And that's not a bad weapon to have if you're the Bulldogs. That's his 11th point tonight. The shot is a one-man wrecking crew. Cardinals try to answer back down by two. McGraw for the lead. Knocked it down. The sweet stroke by the lefty. Gets his body square. A little deeper than normal. Knocks it in. 18-17 in favor of Canfield. Berenger gives to Kugris. This is Kramer. Now Berenger. Kramer can hit from deep as well. So too can O'Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy thought about the long one, now fires to Kugris. Up at the top of the key. 
6.43 left in the first half. Kubris brings it back to the near side. Five seconds. Call! Give it back to Canfield. Nice defense by Canfield. Doing it, switching, making sure there's always a man body on O'Shaughnessy, and they get the five-second call. 6.36 left to play. We will keep it here. 18-17 in favor of Canfield. Now, Canfield has lost its last four games against a ranked opponent. The last win against a team in the AP Top 10 came about eight years ago, a little more than eight years ago, when they took down a Poland team, which was ranked number four. They beat them by seven that night in a shootout. I don't exactly remember, but I stand to think we were probably on hand that yeah, night. Probably on hand there, you know, and that's that's one of those games, you know, 96-89. And that's when Poland was playing their up-tempo. So back to it, Cardinals with the basket. Ball off the glass and good. It's Krogan. Canfield wasting little time. This is O'Shaughnessy. Up at the top of the key, brings it onto the right side, loses the handle, out of bounds. It'll go back to Canfield. This pace favors who? Uh, you know, right now, it, just right now, who's able to handle and weather the runs by each team? Right now, Canfield's put a couple, couple possessions together. And, and like I said, I saw that first game against Poland and Canfield. Canfield much more aggressive, much more physical. That first game, they were passive, and Poland took it to them. So Canfield definitely playing with a little chip on their shoulder tonight. Kalina is defended by Diaz. Great feed, Gamble pucks it up and in. And that's what you like to see if you're Canfield. Those are the high percentage shots. You're not settling. You're looking to attack. Great look by Kalina for, to find his teammate an easy bucket. 22-17 is our score. O'Shaughnessy crosses over, loses the handle, down the floor. McGraw flips it up off the rim. It is cleaned up in the middle of the paint. Gamble couldn't finish. Back over to Krogan. Cross-court pass. Here's Tinky. Low post. Whistle foul as the entry pass went to Kyle Gamble. Poland personal foul. That's one of those calls, you know, I'm always trying to be politically correct here, Chad. That's one of those calls in a game like this. That's probably not one you need to make. Foul is on Daniel Kramer, that's number one. Five team fouls per side. Ball is into McGraw, nearly tied up. Three ball in the air, Tom up top! And Shapiro knocked it down! And that's where the Cardinals you know, they got the physical possession. They were able to drag it away. Find Ben Shapiro, knocks down the three. Canfield extending their lead. Eight-point advantage for the Cardinals. This is Diaz. Defended there by Tinky. Diaz hands it back to Berenger. Berenger spinning in the paint. Berenger with a left hand. Puts it up too strong. Ball out of bounds. It'll go back to the Cardinals. And this is where, if you're the Cardinals, you know, you've got a situation where you can get this to double digits, you know, and, and really get a lot of confidence. So these are the possessions right now where you don't want to take for granted and you want to get the best possible look that you can. Ethan Kalina slices into the paint. Back outside. McGraw. And now Kalina. Gamble triggers. Middle of the paint. He put it in. And get Kalina making the easy decision, easy pass. Finding Gamble in the middle for a nice little soft jumper. Ten-point Canfield lead, but this one far from over. Poland can put up points in a hurry. Diaz spins. Diaz carried the ball. Another Poland turnover. All the momentum right now with the Cardinals. Up ten, making a lot of good decisions, not giving Poland their easy looks, making it difficult and contested defensively. Shapiro. As we approach the midway point of the second quarter, looking for a screen from McGraw. Onto the wing, it is Kalina. This is Tinky Thana. About firing up one from way deep. Shapiro. Now McGraw. 
Round of screen. Triple try off the rim, no good. Rebound tracked down by Diaz of Poland. Ahead to Kramer. Kramer cut off on the right wing. O'Shaughnessy controls out front and gives it back to Diaz. You know, Chad, we look at the score up there. O'Shaughnessy's got 11. Kramer's got six. And we talk about those stars all the time on Poland as we get a foul here. It's those complimentary guys we always talk about, Behringer. You know, those guys that or they get those looks and get the buckets. Timeout on the floor, 321 left to play. Here in the first half, Cardinals from Canfield up 10 on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Hi, Rob Bellman for Boardman Subaru, the home of the safest, most award-winning vehicles on the road today. Subarus are rated the safest vehicles, period, with EyeSight Driver Assist technology that gives you an extra set of eyes on the road. KBB has awarded Subaru as the best mainstream brand with the highest resale value and the lowest cost of ownership. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Boardman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back to Bulldog Country, Poland Seminary High School. But at the moment, it's the Canfield squad. Up by 10, 27 17. Chad Krasminski, look, listen, Nick Boy, up tempo. If you like it, that's what you get here tonight. And you got to be real impressed with the Cardinals in this first half. Being physical, getting good quality looks. And Poland's complimentary players need to get off the mark here a little bit because you got Kramer and O'Shaughnessy, the guys that are scoring, and those other guys usually get those sneaky pockets. Kramer has his pocket picked. Kalina to the line, to the lane, puts it up off balance. And we have what? Simply a turnover. Boy, that was way off balance. Yeah, that's one of those where he was expecting a little bit of contact, you know, and didn't get it. Kind of pull off the chair kind of move and uh, gets the, uh, Poland gets the ball back. Diaz up front, hands to Berenger. Another takeaway, McGraw with a steal. McGraw feeds underneath, off the glass. It won't go as Kalina couldn't finish. There's two lamps, you know, those are the ones that come back to get you. Got to be able to knock those in. It stays a 10-point lead. Opportunity missed for Canfield. O'Shaughnessy to Berenger. Here's Kramer for three. Back edge, no good. Offensive board for O'Shaughnessy. Feeds it into the paint. Nicely done for the big guy, Kramer. Batman and Robin. Right there, O'Shaughnessy finding Kramer for his eighth point of night. 27-19, Canfield with the ball. This is Tinky spinning. Tinky nearly walked up to Gamble. And we have a whistle and a reach and foul called on the floor. It's going to be tagged to Kramer, I believe. That will be the sixth team foul and the second on Kramer. So you've got two on Diaz, two on Kramer. And so that's something to kind of keep an eye on if they get their third one here before the quarter's over. Shapiro whips it over to Krogan. Krogan picks up that dribble. Three ball in the air from way deep. Tinky off the mark. Rebound. Krogan. Double clutch. No. Gamble. Third try. Up and in. And there's the not once, not twice, but three times. Getting to the offensive glass and the RBI up 10. 29-19. Poland trying to answer back. Behringer up at the top of the key. This is Kramer. Kramer slips. Pitches back to Diaz. Under 90 seconds left in the first half. Diaz into the paint, feeding it to Kramer. Kramer, jump stop, and it falls. And Kramer doing his work on the interior. That gives him 10. 
O'Shaughnessy's got 11. Kramer has 10, all 21 of their points. 107 left, ball in the hands of McGraw. There's Krogan. Over to Gamble. Low post. McGraw scoops it up and in. Not to be outdone. McGraw showing you he can go inside and out. Canfield has had an answer all night long to this point. Diaz on the right wing. Top of the key, O'Shaughnessy. They feed it underneath or sticks it up and in. Tremendous court vision. O'Shaughnessy seeing the open teammate. First bucket. Besides O'Shaughnessy and Kramer. 31-23. Canfield up by eight. This is Shapiro. Inside of 20 seconds left. Shapiro whips it over to Krogan. Krogan defended by Berenger. Off the dribble come the cards. Over to Kalina. Ball is out of bounds. And it's going to go to Poland, I believe. They're going to fix this one for sure. So the officials will fix it. Yep, that's a good call. And that great play by Shapiro. But you, normally you have the knack to try to grab the ball. He was out of bounds though and stayed away from it. So great, smart play by Shapiro. Ball is in. The ball back to Poland. Here is Kramer. Flips it up and in. And that's the type of finish you don't want to do if you're the Cardinals. So after all of that, first half is in the books. Campfield getting the better end here in the battle of 224 at halftime. It's the Cardinals 31, the Bulldogs 25. Our halftime festivities will begin when we come back. Chad Krasminski and Will Klusenik inviting you to stay tuned for more. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. Foster parents have one of the most important jobs on the planet. There's a shortage of foster homes in Mahoning County, which is why we need you now. Learn more about fostering at Mahoning County Children's Services Foster Parent Informational Luncheon, Saturday, February 24th. Bring in your tax refund and save at the instant markdown sale at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore. We've just made special purchases of Lordstown Belt Chevy Cruises starting from only $10,900, $10,900, and Percival Chevy Equinoxes from only $199, $199 a month with zero down. Plus, we've got 200 cars from $99, $99 a month with zero down. Trucks from $159, $159 a month with zero down. And if you have bad credit from divorce, medical bills, or bankruptcy, we can help you get financed. So bring in your tax refund and get the lowest prices anywhere at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Have you ever had car trouble in a place like this? Yes, and it was like the worst experience of my life. When I get into my car, I want to know it's going to get me from point A to point B. Well, then I have some good news. Chevy's the only brand to receive JD Power Dependability Awards for cars, trucks, and SUVs two years in a row. Right now, qualified lessees can get this well-equipped, all-new 2018 Chevy Equinox for around $199 a month. See your local Chevy dealer today. Radiation exposure in children carries a lifetime risk of cancer. To fix heart rhythm problems, what we're doing here lets us use GPS for the heart instead of radiation. If it's your child and you have a choice of the same procedure, the same outcome, but no radiation exposure and no long-term cancer risk, it's an easy choice. Foster parents have one of the most important jobs on the planet. There's a shortage of foster homes in Mahoning County, which is why we need you now. Learn more about fostering at Mahoning County Children's Services Foster Parent Informational Luncheon, Saturday, February 24th. And welcome back to Poland. We're here at halftime. It is Canfield with a 31-25 lead over Poland in the battle of 224. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski alongside Will Klusenik. And again, this was a rivalry game with plenty of extra emotion coming in. And it was exactly as advertised, a very entertaining first half. Exactly the way we expected. Both teams had their run, but have to be real impressed with the physical and defensive effort by Canfield early on. Let's revisit our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. It all starts with... 
going and getting the rock mission accomplished for Canfield. Yeah, absolutely, they got those second, third chance opportunities, those loose balls, which gave him that lead. Also, execution and efficiency. Canfield got in those couple possessions where they were settling for jumpers, but pretty, pretty good efficiency and execution. And then finally, I think both teams did a good job of handling those emotions and keeping them in check. 31-25, Canfield leading Poland. When we come back, we'll break down the first half with statistics and highlights. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Kick of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GN, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Welcome to Youngstown Phantom Talk. Saturday, February 17th. Join the Phantoms in thanking our veterans at Military Appreciation Night presented by Cabelli Enterprises. Free poster giveaway to the first 500 fans and a live post-game jersey auction. Visit youngstownphantoms.com for details. Everyone saves. No tricks, no gimmicks at the all-new Taylor Chevrolet. It's auto show bonus cash time. No friends and family connection needed. Come see us at Taylor Chevrolet today. 2018 Silverado 1500 double cab, fully loaded. Lease for $179 per month. 2018 Equinox all-wheel drive, lease $119 per month. And when we make a deal, we'll pay off your trade, no matter how much you owe. If you clear $350 per week, Taylor Chevrolet of Hermitage wants to approve you. Drive TaylorChevrolet.com. Chevy, find new roads. A mom in Youngstown has neighbors to thank for saving her baby from a burning home. We came out and seen a one girl on the roof and told her to jump. How they realized the only way to rescue the one-year-old was by dropping it from a second-story window. I'm tracking a storm system headed toward the valley. I'll show you how that's going to impact your weekend plans. That's tonight at 11 on 33 News. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. And welcome back to the home of the Poland Bulldogs. We're here at halftime. It is Canfield getting the better end of 31 25 in the latest installment of the Battle of 224. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasminski alongside Will Klusenik. Back and forth, these two teams go. Canfield got the better in that first half, but Poland can pile up the points in a hurry. Should be a fun second Absolutely. half. Poland can pile up the points. And just looking at that board right there, very top-heavy with O'Shaughnessy and Kramer. They're going to need some of those complimentary guys to get their easy buckets as well. Let's take a look at our team numbers, which are brought to you by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. What stands out to you? You know, Poland shooting the ball well. You know, Canfield doing what they need to do from the three-point line as well. So again, very even game right now. Canfield shooting 100% from the free throw line now. Some of those front line guys certainly getting it done for both sides. One of those for Poland is Daniel Kramer, the big guy, and he can finish around the rim, certainly. He can finish around the rim, and he can take his game to the outside. Very dangerous player. Canfield's got to keep an eye on him as well, and you can see right now the rebound and statistics. Canfield doing a, a real nice job of getting the ball and being aggressive. Certainly helps when you shoot at such a high percentage. Ian McGraw did just that for Canfield. He has a sweet-looking left-handed stroke. He splashes this one in from deep. What I like about it, he gets himself square, and you can see the two guys leading the charge right now, Kramer with 12, McGraw with 10. It's going to be an exciting second half. It should be a lot of fun here at halftime. Canfield with a 31-25 lead over Poland. We will have the third quarter when we come back. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. This halftime report is sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. Hi, Rob Bellman for Boardman Subaru, the home of the safest, most award-winning vehicles on the road today. Subarus are rated the safest vehicles, period, with EyeSight driver assist technology that gives you an extra set of eyes on the road. KBB has awarded Subaru as the best mainstream brand with the highest resale value and the lowest cost of ownership. 
And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Boardman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Your fitness journey starts at the train station with locations in Boardman and Niles. Get on board today. If you or a loved one need rapid relief from opioid withdrawals and cravings, get help now. Call Dr. Anil Naluri, MD, to learn about new treatment options. 330-783-1147. 330-783-1147. Looking for that carefree retirement lifestyle you deserve? Villa Living at Copeland Oaks offers beautiful, maintenance-free homes at affordable monthly rental. Enjoy friendly folks in a quiet, safe neighborhood setting. These charming, unique homes offer many amenities, plus all the benefits of community living. Fall in love with retirement living at its very best. Visit us online or in person to experience the Copeland Oaks difference. Find new roads to the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Current Chevy lessees, you can save up to 32% on a new Chevy Cruze. That's a huge savings. You can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive Chevy Silverado for only $239 a month with zero down. And a new Chevy Equinox right now is only $249 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. WYTV.com, your home for community news. And welcome back, all set for the third quarter. Canfield with a 31-25 lead over Poland. Chad Krasminski, Will Klusnik back with you. Say every week we'll pick the player of the game. This is one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. And we'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 o'clock on WKBN 27 First News. All right, all set for quarter number three. What has to happen for Poland to overcome this current six-point deficit? Yeah, Poland's a confident team, you know, veteran team. You know, they understand what they have to do. They're going to continue to play hard, get their shots. You know, what they need to do is, is get some of those second, third chance opportunities, those runouts that we're so used to seeing them get. Diaz with the ball out front for the Bulldogs. Up at the top of the key. This is O'Shaughnessy spinning, and he's able to draw the contact and the foul. Two shots up coming for Braden O'Shaughnessy as the foul is called on Ben Shapiro. I beg your pardon, it'll be called on Ethan Kalina. And that will be his first as O'Shaughnessy steps to the free throw line and he has scored in double figures in every single game this season. He began the season with a 32 point performance against Liberty and he hasn't slowed up since. And you know, you look at a guy like that, you know, being, being a, a great high school player, you know, you don't, he doesn't have to worry about getting his. He's getting his every night, but he makes the players around him better. 31-27 is our score. Cardinals try to answer back. And they did just that as Ethan Kalina stuck it up and in. Takes it right off the deck. Great aggressive take to the 10. 33-27. This is O'Shaughnessy. Up to the top of the key, Diaz. Back to O'Shaughnessy on the wing. Now Berenger. Berenger feeds it into the corner. Or puts it up off the rim, no good. And he is able to draw the contact and the foul. And that's some of that aggressiveness I'm sure Coach Grisdale talked about. And that's going to be number two on Kalina. So two quick ones by Ethan Kalina. But you like Orr being aggressive, getting to the free throw line, knocking it down. Orr. As a free throw shooter, connects on 71%. Splits the pair, it's 33-28, Canfield ball. Over to Kalina. Cut off on the wing, takes it baseline. Kalina feeds it to Tinky for three. That one no good, a little bit too strong. Off the fingertips of Diaz. That's one thing about Canfield. So many times you see a team, not necessarily Canfield, you'll see a team get a lead and then peel back, not stay aggressive. Canfield remains aggressive. Aggressive, and that's a nice penetration uh, and kickback to Tinky. He'll make the next one. Kalina knocks down 
around the triple. Kalina, you know, getting aggressive right now, feeling confident, gets the easy bucket, high percentage shot to start the quarter, works his way out, knocks down the three. 36-28 is our score. 6-37, Orr puts it up, draws another foul. He'll go back and shoot two more. Looks like a pretty good move by Orr. Pretty good contest by Gamble. We're gonna see right there. Maybe a little bit of the arm, but not much. That'll be number three on Kyle Gamble as Orr puts it in to make it 36-29. Orr, one of those unsung heroes, he averages a half dozen points per game and four and a half boards. Off the miss, the rebound down to Canfield, up the floor. Here's Tinky feeding it for Hanasek. Hanasek is gonna have his pocket picked. This is O'Shaughnessy, great feed for Kramer. Off the glass and in! And there's off the turnover. Poland strikes fast, strikes hard, cuts it to five. Just like that, that deficit starting to disappear for Poland. This is Shapiro, feeding it inside. McGraw scoops it up and in. McGraw, that's a wonderful job of the ball movement, not standing, gets the cut, middle lane, finish with the left. Boy, he's a fun player to watch, isn't he? Absolutely. Berenger, over to Diaz, nearly had that one stolen. Kramer cleans it up and sticks it in. And there's Diaz creating for Kramer for his 16 point of the night. You can see Poland real aggressive, real active. Those high percentage shots defensively getting after it. He's too slugging it out. Floater for Shapiro. No. He comes up with his own rebound. McGraw feeds back to underneath. Shot blocked by Poland. It's picked up by the Bulldogs. Berenger down the floor. Oh, Shaughnessy puts it in. And there's a timeout. You knew it was coming. Those are the shots that they weren't getting in that first half. Those runouts from their defense. 5.18 left to play in the third quarter. Just like that, Poland roaring back courtesy of number three. And this is what we see from Poland all the time. Defense leading to offense, getting those runouts, getting that student section fired up. And we talked about it. This team isn't really afraid of anything, Chad. They're confident. They've been through these tough games. They know what to expect. They're going to keep fighting and grinding, and they've cut it to three. 38-35. Poland coming into this one. 18 wins out of 19 games. Canfield is 12-7. Cardinals out of the timeout. will try to answer back now. And this is a big possession because this is where we talk about. This is one of these runs where you can't just settle for a shot. It's got to be a great set that you run and get the specific shot that you want with the type of player and the shot that you want. McGraw triggers, three ball, back edge, no good. Advantage, pull it. And McGraw with an ill-advised blocking foul. And probably ill-advised shot as well. Again, he might have been open in that situation, but Poland's on their run. You've got to make sure it's a high percentage layup free throw. Again, you've got a lot of guys going to the bucket, and that's going to be the first one on McGraw. Four team fouls on Canfield here in the third quarter. Poland has not been called for a foul just yet in this quarter. This is Kramer. Up to O'Shaughnessy. Firing three ball. Got it! And we're tied at 38! He's had such great footwork and balance. Able to get that shot off. O'Shaughnessy shows you why he's one of the better ones in the area. What was once a 10-point lead for Canfield is now gone. Cardinals trying to recapture the lead. Traveling called back to Poland. And Poland showing you they can turn up the heat, turn up the pressure defensively. They've done it. Offensively, they've been efficient. We talked about those keys to the game, Chad. It's a tie ball game. 38-38 is our score. Diaz up front. Diaz bouncing it underneath. Kramer puts it up. And it paddles in. Kramer doing the damage inside. 
Nice little turnaround baseline jumper. Owen with their first lead of the game. 40 to 38 is our score. Kalina, too strong. O'Shaughnessy with the board for the Bulldogs. O'Shaughnessy to the line, to the lane, gives Kramer. He puts it up, no good. Kramer cleans it up, has his pocket picked. It ends up with Berenger. O'Shaughnessy for three. That one won't go. Rebound Krogan for Kentfield. Ahead of the pack, ball out of bounds. And with 3.39 left to play, here in the third quarter, Poland 40, Kenfield 38 on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Hi, everybody. I'm Dr. Estrino. Did you bring your heart with you today? It's in here. It's in there? Breathe in real deep. Wow, let me listen to that tummy. <laughs> let me check your hands, make sure they don't fall off. <laughs> That's all good. Girl, can you get falling out? <laughs> okay. How about a fist bump? <laughs> wow. Bye. Thanks, guys. Right now at Diane Sauer Chevrolet, we have a selection of 2017 pre-owned cruises, all of them priced at only $14,995 each. Or buy any used car with only $88 down. With payment of only $88 a month, buys this 07 Chevy Cobalt. $148 a month buys a 16 Hyundai Elantra. And $188 buys this 2016 Dodge Dart. Discover the Diane difference at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. The road to savings begins this way. Diane Sauer Chevrolet. Three minutes, 39 seconds left to play. Here in quarter number three. The entire complexion of this one has changed. Poland up by two, but we still have plenty left here in this one. Canfield basketball. And it is in to Tinky. Into the hands of Krogan. And now Kalina. Kalina slices into the paint, scoops it up. It's short. Rebound Kramer down the floor. Or, or to the line, to the lane. Puts it up and in. Another rebound outlet by Kramer, run out, and that's where Paul and we talked about it, getting those easy run outs and buckets. 42-38. Cardinals down by four, Kalina whips it back over to Tyler Dobrindt. This is Krogan slicing through, and he put it up and in. Big bucket for the Cardinals. Krogan gets that high percentage shot, stops maybe a little of that momentum of the Bulldogs. Pace, if it's even possible, has picked up even more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Diaz to O'Shaughnessy. Puts it up and in. Puts the foul. He is just fun to watch. You know, can do it inside, out, footwork, balance. Just great basketball IQ, understanding how to use his body with the finish and the opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. Always aware of where he is on the it floor, really is. finding the little crease or opening, and taking advantage. I mean, look at that field goal percentage. That's crazy. Off the miss, Orr with a rebound. Jump ball, and the possession arrow will give it to Canfield. Good hustle by Canfield. You know, back to O'Shaughnessy when you think about it. You know, and not only is his just court awareness, you know, he takes great shots, high percentage shots, but if the teammate's open, he's going to make the best basketball decision. He doesn't rush to, to do yeah. something very patient as well. Yeah, he really is. 44-40 is our score. Cardinals trying to claw back from this four-point deficit. Pinball basketball up into the air. Berenger line lay, puts it up and in! There's my man, Berenger. He's been quiet. But he's always that guy that seems to be in the right spot at the right time. And that's his first two of the night. Berenger into the scorebook. It's a six-point pull and lead. Krogan back up top of the key. Shapiro for three. Off the rim, no good. Whistle and a foul called on the floor. It'll be called against Poland. They might have gotten or. 24 with the push, yep, and you saw the one Cardinal defender go flying. It's another opportunity for Canfield. 
No, down six. Timeout called by Canfield. Every possession now seems to be very, very precious. 2-0-2 remaining in this one. It is 46-40 in favor of Paul Linda. A good timeout to, to keep things right where they are. You can't afford a turnover here. Yeah, you can't afford a turnover or a five-second call. Yeah. And, and you can see Poland, they get these runouts. Behringer, you know, he was quiet in that first half. But when you get these guys going and get these type of shots, runouts and high percentage shots, that's where Poland is very dangerous. You know, Canfield at the other end, you know, great timeout not to get the five-second call. This is where you find out what type of team you are because these special situations, these baseline out-of-bounds plays, you know, you've got basically an inbounds play where you're going to run the set. You know who you're looking for. Can you get the quality shot? 2-0-2 remaining in the battle of 224's third quarter. This one going to come down to the wire, or so it appears. And that's the way we like it on our game of the week. Here comes Paul and back onto the floor. Cardinal basketball. Not tonight. Look, Klusenik just received heartbreaking news. He did not win the 50-50 raffle for the second straight week because there's a reach-in foul. Called against Kramer. You can't win them all, partner. No, you can't win them all. You know, and, and it would have been a nice one to get this one, but you always like to go in there and, and donate back to the schools. No doubt. Ball is in to Gamble, and we have a whistle. And a foul on the floor. So lots of whistles here in the final moments. And that'll be the second on O'Shaughnessy. Yep. Ball is into Krogan. This is Tinky. McGraw for three. Around, and it comes off. Diaz brings it back up the floor for Poland. Diaz. So we approach the 140 mark in this third quarter. Diaz gets to O'Shaughnessy. Catch and shoot. He's got another. As they say on NBA Jam, he's on fire. 49-40 is our score. Krogan has his pass picked off. Taken away by Barringer. Loses his footing. Canfield with numbers. Krogan, line, lane. Puts it up, no good. Great hustle by O'Shaughnessy. Bulldogs have numbers. Diaz scoops it up and in. My, oh, my. This is not the ending of this quarter that Canfield Cardinals needed. Poland putting on the blitzkrieg. Circus shot increases the lead to 11. Floater up and good for Shapiro. And right there, Shapiro steps in. What a great job of trying to silence the crowd and get this to nine. What a turnaround, Chad. 51-42 is our score. Kramer over to Orr. Orr crosses over, gives back to Diaz. Diaz loses the handle, gobbles it back up. Ball is poked out of bounds. Off Canfield, it'll stay here. That just shows you, you know, what type of really intestinal fortitude with Poland. They don't panic. You know, they come out, just you know, do an outstanding job. We're going to get a sub in here for Canfield. Dobrint is back in. Sitting down is Kyle Gamble. Poland probably going to try to hold for last shot if they can, unless this guy gets something wide open. Kramer. I think the pass was intended for him, but it ended up with Behringer. Behringer was on the baseline. Yeah, Behringer wasn't accept, uh, expecting that pass, uh, and Kramer wasn't either, so you've got a turnover. Again, opportunity now for Canfield to get a quality look and knock it in. Hit a three here, changes the whole complexion going into yeah. the final eight minutes. Again, we talk about momentum. Again, it's a state of mind, but it definitely will help the Cardinals. Top of the key, this is Gamble. Gamble penetrates off the glass. It won't go. Ball loose. Picked up by the Cardinals. And Tinky sticks it in. Final seconds ticking on down. Diaz across the time stripe. But at the fourth court. Firing for three at the buzzer. And with that, the third quarter is in the books. Eight minutes to play in the Battle of 224. 
We head to the fourth quarter with your score, Poland 51, Canfield 44. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back at Sweeney. Choose from over 1,500 vehicles. Get to Sweeney right now and save 30% off MSRP on the 18 Chevy Cruze. That's incredible. 30% off the Lordstown built Chevy Cruze only at Sweeney, your cruise headquarters. Double Auto Show bonus cash is back. Click SweeneyCars.com or stop by Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC on Market Street in Boardman. Sweeney. Welcome to the Auto Show. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Let's check out some Chevys. What's your first impression here? This car is really amazing. Well, mm -hmm. this is nice. Wi-Fi. That's really impressive. That's awesome. And what if I told you that you can get Auto Show cash right now? Cash back is always great. Oh, my God. Qualified lessees can use Auto Show bonus cash to get this Chevy Cruze for around $169 a month. See your local Chevy dealer today. Let me get uh, one of them there, Daybreak. Man, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now. Coming up at 610. Fresh and hot. But make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, weather in the threes. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next in Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. Daybreak! Yay! More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. And welcome back, Poland, doubling up Canfield. In that third quarter, 26 13, Diaz with a great scoop shot as we're all set for the fourth quarter. Poland rallying to take a 51-44 lead. Bulldog basketball. Chad Perspinski, Will Klusenik back with you. Diaz has the ball, and it is a whistle, and what? And you got a five-second call. So that's exactly how Canfield needs to start out. Ratchet it up defensively. A little too much dribbling coming out into the fourth. Cardinals need to take advantage of these opportunities, however. See if they're able to do so. Shapiro. Make that Shapiro up at the top of the key. Alina spinning right of the lane. Outside to McGraw. Makes it baseline. Great strength. Whistle. Foul call. Two shots upcoming. It came from the official along the far side. It definitely did. He must have saw something on the back end there because there was a lot of contact on that play. And you could see it coming right at you here. Going to Shaughnessy right across the arm, and that's an easy call. McGraw to the foul line. Free throw good for McGraw, who's been the most consistent player for Canfield all season. Of course, we've seen his strength shooting the three ball for his size. He's a great rebounder, a great finisher, and he was able to draw the foul there. It's 51 46 in favor of Poland. Diaz. Bounce pass underneath Kramer. Kramer puts it up. It's off the rim. Orr with the offensive board. Tracked down by Berenger. Into the corner. Orr walked with the basketball. And the turnover gives it right back to Canfield. A little too quick there on that first step. If you're pulling, you'd probably like to see that ball get reversed. Get the defense running. Turnover Poland. Canfield another opportunity. Cut into the lead. Five-point Poland lead. Shapiro. Across the time, Stripe works it over to Kalina. Here's McGraw. Tinky. To Gamble. Cardinals very patient. Very deliberate. McGraw gathers. Whips it over. Tinky for three. Got it! Excellent court vision by McGraw. Saw Kramer in there. Thought better of it. But what a great skip pass to Tinky in the corner. 
knocks it down for three, cuts the lead to two. 51-49, Kramer with the ball. Kramer up at the top of the key, there's a near steal by McGraw, but it's a reach and foul on that Cardinal senior. As we get a look at it right here. I'll pass. That'll be his second. Sixth Canfield team foul. Diaz up at the top of the key. That's pass for Kramer. Oh, he threaded the needle. And Kramer stuck it in. 53-49. And well, this plot is thickening here in the Battle of 224. And, and what you love with Cohen and Coach, gonna, Ridge are probably going to switch it up a little bit. But you can see, working the ball into Kramer, they've been doing it all night to the right, and he's been so effective of getting that shot and knocking it down. That gives him 20 on the night. O'Shaughnessy with 23. Again, but the difference, you look at it, some other guys getting to the scoring column, some of those guys that aren't as highly touted as complimentary guys that understand what their role is, and, and, and they do it fantastic. But you've also got Zach Tinky in the corner, knocks it down with efficiency. You leave him open, he's going to make you pay. 53-49, and we still have 6-14 remaining here in the ball game. It will belong to Canfield. And here's the change of pressure, a little full court just to mix it up, something that they haven't seen all night. Probably just a little token pressure. Maybe if you get a little opportunity, you might go after it. Again, just to change it up and get him to think a little bit about something else. That little half-court trap leaving McGraw open now. Pass picked off. Canfield turnover. Diaz ends up with it. Kramer looking for Behringer. Ball out of bounds. One turnover followed by another. And it goes back to Canfield with 5.55 left in the game. You know, and that's one of those you play a little bit too unselfish. You've got to take that one to the rack and to the 10 and tell the guy you're meeting him at the 11th floor. Across the time stripe, here's Kalina. Now Gamble, backing in. Gamble, out to McGraw. Gathers, three ball in the air. Off the rim, no good. Cleaned up, Tinky. Shot blocked. But it's a jump ball called, and the possession arrow keeps it here. Another quick whistle that benefits the Cardinals this time. So Canfield will have it. Fans aren't real happy. No. Nope. Ian McGraw works it into Shapiro. Firing three ball short. Offensive rebound by McGraw. Canfield has another chance. Shapiro off the dribble to the line, to the lane. Puts it up. No good. Whistle and another jump ball. This one will point the way of Poland. And so right now, you can sense the Cardinals a little bit, you know, you know, trying to, you know, get the correct shot here. You got to move the ball a little bit, you know, and you got plenty of time left here, and you're looking for those high percentage, those quality shots. You know, don't have to rush. Diaz on the wing, as it poked free, works it over to O'Shaughnessy, loses his footing. There's a Canfield takeaway into the hands of Kalina for the Cardinals. Kalina goes baseline. And he's able to draw the blocking foul with 4.58 left to play. The whistles have definitely tightened up. And that's going to be number two on Behringer. Five team fouls called against Poland. McGraw with the ball. Has it into Shapiro. Shapiro is defended by Kramer. Shapiro penetrates and now pulls it back outside of the three-point line. This is Kalina. And the entry pass to Gamble. There's a foul on Diaz. And that'll be number three. So again, one of those situations that maybe might be a mismatch on there. You know, and it's probably maybe not a bad foul. You know, trying to reach around there and make sure Gamble doesn't get an easy bucket underneath there on the mismatch. Out front. Tracked down by Kalina. He's nearly taken away. Tinky, three ball in the air. Off the rim, no good. 
And the rebound comes down to Poland. This is Diaz up the floor, feeding Kramer off the glass and in. Kramer running the floor, fell in the lane, finishing it off for 22. The big fella rewarded. The lead is six, 55-49. Shapiro stops and pops. And it's off the rim, a rebound to Orr for Poland. And that's one of those so-so settle shots the coach was talking about. Again, put kind of in no man's land. And right now, Cardinals got to ratchet it up defensively. 358 left. Diaz! Somehow missed that one. I think he had a little help missing that one. Kalina puts that one up and in! And a timeout has been called with 347 left to play. 55, 51. And our media timeout will be the next dead ball since this one was called. So the next dead ball will be our television timeout according to our officials. So 347 remaining and take me inside each other. Well, right now, you know, as, as you look at the last basket by Kalina, this is what the Cardinals have to do. Don't just settle for perimeter shots. Be able to take it to the window, get yourself to the foul line, get yourself to the foul line and make sure you get those high percentage shots on offense. Don't just settle for threes you know, or contested shots. If you're pulling right now, you're up four. You know, you can continue to feed O'Shaughnessy and Kramer. And if you can get some of those runouts that you've been getting from your defense, that's what you're looking for. So who's going to be able to execute in under these last four minutes, Chad? And what else could we ask for but another game coming down to the wire in front of a packed house here in the Battle of 224. 55-51. Remember, Canfield at one point held a 10-point lead, and you knew there was a big run coming from Poland. And boy, did the Bulldogs explode in a big way. And there's Diaz to Kramer. You reward the big fella, and Diaz with great court vision, finding the big guy. Four-point, pulling lead, Bulldog basketball. Diaz, bring it across the time stripe into the forecourt. He has it onto the right side. Up to Berenger. Berenger, now to O'Shaughnessy. This is Orr. And Diaz. Up to Kramer. Yeah, and right now, Poland being very patient. You know, they're gonna run, and if they get an opportunity maybe to slip something, no, but they're going to move the ball, get the correct guys with the ball handling, and if you get a wide open look, they're going to knock it down. O'Shaughnessy splashes in another triple. You cannot lose him because he might have missed one shot tonight. He's got 26. Absolutely fantastic offensive game by that young man tonight. 58-51. Kramer in the open floor is fouled with 2.51 left. Time out on the floor, 58-51, Poland by seven. We'll have the conclusion when we come back. We're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball. Keep of the week. Shop 24-7 at stadiumgm.com where you can view the entire inventory. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. It's the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Right now, you can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive GMC Sierra for only $189 a month with zero down. A new Buick Encore is only $199 a month with zero down. A new GMC Terrain is only $229 a month with zero down. And a new GMC Acadia is only $239 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. 
Those young ladies are taking a little break now, but they have had plenty to cheer about here tonight for Poland as the Bulldogs have absolutely exploded and they've stayed on the attack and anytime you get Daniel Kramer the open floor boy he can rock the rim and Ben Shapiro said not this time not this time and that's the exact type of foul that you need to make sure that there's no possible way that he gets that ball up but you saw that's how Poland got this lead some of those runouts and those buckets and those free throws so Kramer puts it in to make it a 59 51 ball game he comes in averaging 15 and a half points per game and he's a pretty darn good free throw shooter 83 percent and the Poland lead now is nine Bulldogs won by 11 in the first meeting Shapiro up the floor for Canfield ball knocked out of bounds and it'll go back to Poland with 242 left little miscommunication guy going back door now to the Cardinals you've got to D it up down nine with 2.35 to go. Well, Shaughnessy brings it across to Mike Diaz. Diaz behind the back, spinning three. Nearly five seconds. Kramer takes the feed and put it in. Diaz on the money again. Perfect pass to Kramer. Now Shaughnessy's going to pick up the foul, and that's going to give him four. So that's a developing situation. So we're down to 218 remaining. It is an 11 point ball game. The first meeting was 52 41. It is now 62 51 here tonight, and now 62 52. 10 point lead for the Poland Bulldogs as Shapiro trying to knock the second one in. He's a 79% free throw shooter. He's known as the glue guy he helps keep the team together and practices and games as the cardinals stick that one up and in to cut it to 62 54. And free throw box out gamble gets it that's the type of shot they need but kramer all alone he stuck that one back up and in it's back to a double digit lead kramer's gonna take diaz out to dinner tonight with all those assists shapiro short of the triple try well sean is saved with the rebound and the Bulldogs were off and running. We have a foul, and we're going to go back to the other end and shoot free throws now. Mike Diaz has really stepped up his game, you know, finding the big fella, giving him the easy looks. And you want to talk about a dynamic duo, that's going to be number four on Gamble. You've got Kramer with 28, and you've got O'Shaughnessy with 26. Wow. O'Shaughnessy. Well, Misses or with a rebound. O'Shaughnessy raises up and draws another Canfield foul. And Poland not taking their foot off the pedal. O'Shaughnessy looking to attack. Right now he's two for four at the foul line for tonight. Dobrent is back in for Canfield. As we're down to 147, Gamble heads to the Canfield bench, and he's fouled out. And O'Shaughnessy misses for one of the few times tonight when he's hoisted up any kind of shot. Yeah, two of five. And now two of six. Ball out of bounds. Off Canfield, however, it'll stay here. Bulldogs trying to increase this 10-point lead. They'll lob it into Kramer. He taps it back. O'Shaughnessy misses the three. Or with another offensive board. Or puts it up and in. And there's that toughness we talked about. Offensive rebound or with the RBI. McGraw scoops. Great pull in defense. And Dobrit commits the foul. Or does he? It's a travel call. My, oh, my, I thought it was a foul, and it's a walk call. Take a look here. Let's take a peek the at this The Canfield player grabbed a hold. That's a great rebound. Yeah, that's uh, another questionable one. There's McGraw. Triple try up and good. 
66-57. As McGraw's big night continues. He has 17 points at the moment. Both teams are in the bonus. Canfield's got the possession arrow. So if you're you're Canfield, you're gonna have to put some pressure up. You know, again, you know, O'Shaughnessy's probably gonna be the guy that looks to get the ball. He's two of six from the foul line right now. You know, doesn't have good vibes at the foul line. You know, so uh, again, you gotta look to foul somebody quick because you now have to create as many possessions as you can in this last minute and 24. 124 remaining, 66-57. Poland leading Canfield. This one has been very entertaining here tonight as we knew it would be. As far as the postseason goes, Canfield will open up as the sixth seed in Division I in the Canton District. They will host Perry on the 28th of this month. Meanwhile, Poland is the number one seed over in the Boardman District in Division Two, they will host the winner of Salem and Ursuline in the sectional final. And I'm sure that's not a real big picnic there for Coach Grisdale to see those two teams behind him. Ball is out of bounds. And it'll belong to Canfield. Right now, Canfield trying to breathe a little bit of life here. Gonna have to make it happen on offense. McGraw. Is it into Kalina? He spins to the baseline, feeds it in the corner. Triple try! Up and good! It's Krogan! Just like that six-point game. This one not over yet. Diaz ahead to Kramer. Big-time collision between two number tens. Connor Krogan picks up the foul. And Krogan was probably about one and a half steps for making a clean look. Got to go to where he is, where he's going, not where he is. And Kramer now headed to the free throw line. 66 seconds left. Kramer drilled it. He's a great free throw shooter. Tonight, five for five. And the free throw is up, and it is good, and we have a timeout taken. Yeah, Kramer, he, he really had a special night. You know, six for six from the line. He's actually 12 of 16 from the field. You know, 33 points. And like I said, I'm staring at those numbers up there. You know, 33 and 26 by two players. That's impressive. Well, those guys have just got pulling on their back and said, ride us in. No doubt. And they're going to make opposing teams in the tournament have fits with the way they can play inside out. Yeah, just always so impressed with Coach Grisdale and his teams, you know, what they're able to do, how well they understand the system. Uh, Coach Grisdale, again, does a fantastic job. Coach Muck, he's got his guys fighting over here right now. And they got some opportunities here with a minute four left to try to make something happen. Kalina into the paint, scoops it up. It won't go. Tap, controlled by Poland. This is O'Shaughnessy. Line, lane, put it up and in. Run out by Dobrit. Loose ball, picked up by the Bulldogs. This is Orr, and he's fouled with 42.8 seconds left. And all you can say, you know, Poland came out in this second half on a mission. And to have what those two guys did tonight was very special. Orr sticks that one up and in. But like I said, you've got Orr now with nine points. You know, big second half for him. Couple buckets. Berenger has one. Diaz has one. But it's all the little things that those guys do. Timeout on the floor, 42.8 seconds left. This stoppage of play gives us an opportunity to tell you that we had a great one here tonight. Coming up on Tuesday, we're going to have a fantastic ball game. Two teams that are ranked in the top 10 in the state of Ohio. It is LeBray, it is Poland, the Vikings undefeated, the Bulldogs with 
in 42 seconds. Just one loss after they fell last week at Edgewood. We'll have it for you 7 o'clock. That is going to be a treat next Tuesday night. And when you look at that, we've seen LeBray uh, once already against South Range, which was a great game. Poland, we've seen a couple times. You know, when you start talking about both of those systems, Coach Kaiser, what he has going up at LeBray, Coach Grisdale, what he's got going on down here at Poland, those are the type of games you love to have going into the tournament because that's going to feel like a division or a district final. Yeah, no doubt. That game, it's going to be a great one. 42.8 seconds remaining. Coming up after the game, we'll visit with our player of the game. And we will also visit with our victorious head coach, which, unless something changes dramatically, it will be Ken Grisdale, as that one is off the mark. And Kramer comes down with the rebound, and he is subsequently fouled. And he'll go back down to the other end and shoot some free throws and look to increase what has been a mammoth night for Kramer, 33 points and counting. You know, I think the big thing tonight to, to take away from Canfield, you know, they missed a lot of point-blank shots. And just a lot of point blank shots. Kramer, very polished looking player. We just jinxed him, of course. You know, Canfield, you know, played hard in that, played hard all game. But Poland just had all the answers coming into that the second half. And, and they really put on a display. McGraw has it across for Canfield. Out front, Shapiro. McGraw thought about a deep one. He will now raise up. Too strong. And Kramer's fouled again with 22.8 ticks left. And Kramer with another rebound to kind of cap off this monster night. And, and he's been a, a cardinal killer. In that first game, he took it to him. And the second game here, uh, he, he's done the same thing. And you know, that's an impressive young man inside and out there. Kramer. 35 points. He'll try for 36. You know, there's somebody watching tonight that played some high school basketball said, I didn't have 36 points in half the season. Yeah, that's that's a that's a pretty pretty good night. And, and you know, O'Shaughnessy, no slouch on his own end, you know, somehow gets overshadowed tonight. Off the miss, rebound down to Berenger, and Poland will now have the chance to Dribble this thing out. Final five seconds. Ticking down in the battle of 224. Final score in this one here tonight. Poland 75, Canfield 60. We'll visit with our player of the game. Following these words, you're watching live coverage of the WKVN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Bring in your tax refund and save at the instant markdown sale at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore. We've just made special purchases of Lordstown Belt Chevy Cruises starting from only $10,900, $10,900, and personal Chevy Equinoxes from only $199, $199 a month with zero down. Plus, we've got 200 cars from $99, $99 a month with zero down. Trucks from $159, $159 a month with zero down. And if you have bad credit from divorce, medical bills, or bankruptcy, we can help you get financed. So bring in your tax refund and get the lowest prices anywhere at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Welcome to Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. Saturday, February 17th, join the Phantoms in thanking our veterans at Military Appreciation Night presented by Cabelli Enterprises. Free poster giveaway to the first 500 fans and a live post-game jersey auction. Visit youngstownphantoms.com for details. February is Auto Show Bonus Cash Month at Diane Sauer Chevrolet with savings up to $1,000 on select models or lease an 18 Silverado 4x4 double cab with loyalty for only $222 a month with zero down in loyalty, an Equinox for $217 a month or a Trax LT for $172. Now is the best time to buy. Discover the Diane difference at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. The road to savings begins this way. Diane Sauer Chevrolet. A mom in Youngstown has neighbors to thank for saving her baby from a burning home. We came out and seen a one girl on the roof and told her to jump. 
Pele realized the only way to rescue the one-year-old was by dropping it from a second-story window. I'm tracking a storm system headed toward the valley. I'll show you how that's going to impact your weekend plans. That's tonight at 11 on 33 News. And the celebration is on here at Poland Seminary High School. Poland wins the Battle of 224. Poland sweeps the Battle of 224, knocking off Canfield by a final score of 75 to 60. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski, so pleased to be joined by our player of the game, Daniel Kramer, who notched a career high 36 points here tonight. His previous career high was 32, and we're so pleased to be joined by him. First of all, this is always an emotional game to play against Canfield, mm -hmm. to complete the sweep. What does this mean to you and to your teammates? It means a lot because we, we won the first time, and we always wanted to win. It's about 224. Everybody comes, tries to get the win. Big rivalry. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there's been a lot of discussion about where this rivalry is going, but not knowing where it lies in the future to complete this sweep does that make it even more special tell me a little bit about that oh yeah we we don't know how much longer we're going to be playing so we, everyone wanted the last win tell me about your performance here tonight of course it was yourself it was Braden carrying the bulk of the load uh, what was the difference in the end you trailed by 10 points at one point in the night what changed the intensity first half we didn't have the intensity we're playing sloppy on defense, so we had to bring the intensity for the second half and execute. A game like this in an atmosphere like this, you know well that tournament play is right around the corner. How can games like this help you along with the game coming up on Tuesday against LeBray? That'll help you. How yeah. will it help you? It'll help because the crowds will be there. It's going to be loud. We're going to have to be talking on defense louder, um, it's more intensity. Do you have a good feel for what this group's going to be able to accomplish come tournament time? Because obviously your goals are very high. You want to win that district championship and advance to regionals. Do you have a good feel for what this group's going to be able to do? Yeah, I think we can do it. Congratulations on a great win Thank here you. tonight. Best of luck moving forward. Thank you. That's our player of the game, Daniel Kramer. Career high, 36 points, helping Poland with a 75-60 win over the Canfield Cardinals. When we come back, we'll visit with Poland head coach Ken Grisdale. That comes your way next on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Your fitness journey starts at the train station with locations in Boardman and Niles. Get on board today. Hi, Rob Bellman for Boardman Subaru, the home of the safest, most award-winning vehicles on the road today. Subarus are rated the safest vehicles, period, with EyeSight driver assist technology that gives you an extra set of eyes on the road. KBB has awarded Subaru as the best mainstream brand with the highest resale value and the lowest cost of ownership. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel drive vehicle in America. Only at Boardman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Welcome to the Auto Show. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Let's check out some Chevys. What's your first impression here? This car is really amazing. Well, this is nice. Wi-Fi. That's really impressive. That's awesome. Ah! And what if I told you that you can get Auto Show cash right now? Cash back is always great. Oh, my God. Qualified lessees can use Auto Show bonus cash to get this Chevy Malibu for around $1.99 a month. See your local Chevy dealer today. The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. All the information you need no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast news from across the community and breaking stories. WYTV.com. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. The Battle of 224 goes the way of the Poland Bulldogs. 
Poland completes the sweep of Canfield with a 75-60 win over the Cardinals. Poland improves to 19 and 1. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasinski, so pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Bulldogs, Ken Grisdale. And coach, first of all, congratulations on the win. This is always a, a little bit more emotion in a game like this. How gratifying is it to get this win, complete the sweep in the Battle of 224? It's just extremely gratifying, especially after the way we, we played in the first half. I mean, Canfield came out. They were on, on fire, hitting some shots that and we know they can make, but they were putting them in. And then to go in at halftime and, and come out and, and really play a pretty darn good second half, um, I'm very pleased, you know, to, to beat Canfield anytime, you know, it, it, it's sweet. Obviously, there's been a lot of discussion about where the rivalry goes. That's another story for another day. But again, to polish off this sweep, that's got to make it extra special for your players. It definitely does. I mean, you know, I don't care if it's tiddlywinks, you know, the Canfield Poland, they're going to compete their tails off. I mean, I, I grew up on the Canfield side of it and now I, I live on the Poland side of it. And it, it means so much. And, and I, I really hope we find a way to keep this thing going. I know we get to play next year in the United Way again. Um, I mean, Canfield kids and Poland kids should be able to compete, you know, in every sport all the time. It, it's, that, it's that important and that special to the communities. Coach, what changed tonight? You trailed by 10 in that first half, but what was the message that, that really changed things? And, and then you end up rolling by 15 when it was all said and done. I mean, defensively, we, you know, we had a few mistakes that, that created open shots. And when they start hitting threes, their, their intensity changes. Um, I thought we played better defense. I thought we got the tempo picked up in the game. Um, you know, we're, we're at our best when we're, we're playing off our defense with, you know, the Diaz kid and, and Brandon Berenger. I mean, I, Will and I were talking. Batman and Robin, for the other two, there's the Joker <laughs> and the Riddler. Those, those two are, they're the motor that makes this, this team run got to ask you about the two big guns tonight as you look at Behringer now getting a clean look in transition Braden O'Shaughnessy tonight 28 points Kramer with a career high and 36 points talk about their performance tonight and how special they are as players they are special and we had them both up as freshmen uh, Danny was more of a JV player um, played some varsity Braden was our sixth man that year um, they're special, but you know what? If you don't have Billy Orr, you don't have Brandon Barringer, you don't have Mike Diaz, Mike Masucci, and some of our other guys we have, they're, I mean, they're good players, but they're not special. But because of the people around them and the way that they, they listen and want to do what you're asking them to do, you know, they're pretty darn good. Coach, games like this tonight, tremendous atmosphere. We're going to have another one coming up on yeah. Tuesday with LeBray coming. These are great training grounds for tournament play, which is just a few short weeks away. Definitely. And, you know, I, you know, I, I, Brian Banfield did a great job making sure that, you know, we had a nice ending and then you throw Edgewood in next Friday. Um, we went up there and that's our only loss. And they're, they're as good a team as any that I've seen all year. I mean, so to get LeBray and then to get Edgewood again and then Ursuline or Salem, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a challenge, but hopefully these games, they, they help you get ready for it. And you guys have never shied away from those challenges. Coach, congratulations on a great win. We'll see you Tuesday night. We'll be here with Game of the Week. Thank you so much. You bet. That's the head coach of the Poland Bulldogs, Ken Grisdale, as Poland comes away with a 75-60 win over Canfield at the Battle of 224. I'll be rejoined by Will Pusinik when we come back as we put the finishing touches on this Friday night at the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Find new roads to the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Current Chevy lessees, you can save up to 32% on a new Chevy Cruze. That's a huge savings. You can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive Chevy Silverado for only $239 a month with zero down. And a new Chevy Equinox right now is only $249 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. At the Serenity Center, we recognize that mental health does not discriminate. At the Serenity Center, our medical providers use a comprehensive approach to help individuals and families reach their goals. At the Serenity Center, we understand that everyone's needs are different. Our clinicians are here to help. At the Serenity Center, we offer case management and aftercare program and programs for young men. At Serenity Center, we provide mental health and recovery services. Check out our Facebook page at Serenity Center, LLC. At Serenity Center, we listen. 
everyone saves. No tricks, no gimmicks at the all-new Taylor Toyota. Do you want low monthly payments? Or how about zero money down available? You can even drive home in a 2018 Toyota RAV4 LE front-wheel drive, just $209 per month lease. Or a 2018 Toyota Camry LE. At Taylor Toyota, you pay just $219 per month lease. And when we make a deal, we'll pay off your trade, no matter how much you owe. Visit us today in Hermitage. We finance your future, not your past. Lightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Lightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And that's what it's all about. Bringing that trophy back in the Battle of 224. The Poland Bulldogs will celebrate all night tonight, coming away with a 75-60 win over Canfield, completing the sweep in that battle of 224. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasminski back alongside Will Klusenik. A great atmosphere here tonight. A great ball game. Poland pulled away late in this one. And what a, a great second half by Poland. You know, we've already talked about, I'm sure, you know, with uh, uh, Shaughnessy and Kramer. But you can't do it without those other guys That's like right. Diaz, Berenger, and Orr. Just the defensive pressure and the unselfishness they bring to the table. Again, just a real complete team. Let's take a look at our final box score as we put the finishing touches on this one. Poland has now won 19 of its 20 games. Canfield drops to 12 and 8. Career high 36 points for Daniel Kramer here tonight. His previous career high, as I mentioned earlier, was 32 points. Braden O'Shaughnessy, plenty of letters in that name, plenty of points tonight. 28. Billy Orr in double figures with 10. McGraw was a sharpshooter for Canfield. He had 17, and Tinky and Kalina had 10 points apiece in a 75-60 win for Poland over Canfield. And we're going to be right back here coming up on Tuesday night. What an atmosphere. That should be LeBray and Poland, two of the best teams in the state of Ohio. Again, tournament atmosphere, exactly the way you want to start to end your regular season and get towards tournament time. And we certainly hope you'll be with us Tuesday night. Our live coverage begins at 7 o'clock. Poland and LeBray in a battle of two of the best teams in the Buckeye State. For my broadcast partner, Will Klusenik, and all of us here at WKBN, my name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score. Poland 75, Canfield 60. Till next time, so long everybody from Poland High School.